Cooling towers typically utilize corrugated cellular fill media. To optimize thermal performance, it's imperative to achieve even, balanced water loading across the fill media. An equal volume of water should flow through each flute. Too little water flow leads to the air doing little or no work. Too much water flow floods the flute, restricting airflow. Most cooling tower nozzles produce a round umbrella water pattern, which creates voids and uneven water flow. Circles cannot cover a square area evenly. 22% of the area is void of water. To overcome voids, the industry overlaps nozzles. That overlapping of circular nozzles results in heavy loading in areas where the overlap takes place, leaving light water loading everywhere else. This results in poor thermal performance. The industry has long known that balanced water loading and a square pattern could solve this deficiency. Engineers often state that it's impossible for a round nozzle to produce a hydraulically balanced square water pattern, but that is exactly what the variable flow nozzle does, producing a near-perfect 3-foot by 3-foot spray pattern with even water loading. Here is the magic. The nozzle's inlet transitions from a circular entrance to a square exit. The exiting water is atomized as it hits a small water turbine. The unique geometric profile on each set of turbine blades disperses and diffuses the exiting water into a balanced 3 foot by 3 foot water pattern. The variable flow nozzle maintains that square water pattern by automatically adjusting to flow rates ranging from 20 to 140 gallons per minute, all at the very low pressure of only 1 psi. The variable flow nozzle will significantly improve thermal performance and solve your flow control problem. The variable flow nozzle is simple to install and highly effective, plus it saves major energy and water usage, which translates into saving major money. Call us at 405-476-7003 to learn more and to discuss your cooling tower application.